Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's video, I will show you how to create a snowflake block using Easy Draw within Electric Quilt. I like to start by saving the pieced snowflake block on my website and then it allows me to trace which I think is a lot easier to do than um, actually look at a drawing. Um, tracing usually goes a lot faster. So on my website you'll see the block just right click on it do a save image as and um, if you'll notice, I'm actually in my EQ7 under images, which is a great place to save it. And I'm going to call this a uh, snowflake block uh, 2016. And so I will save it. Now I can go into EQ. Okay, I have opened and set up a new EQ file that I labeled Snowflake. And so what I want to do now is work on block. So I'm going to click the orange button to go to the work on block section of the program. And I'm going to start by importing an image. So I'll do block, um, import image for tracing. And I'm going to navigate to my Snowflake 2016 image and click on open. And I will then click on OK and uh, click inside. Um, I don't care about the patch draw, so I'm going to say no to that. Now, I do want to make some adjustments to my block. So the first thing I'm going to do is move it so that the upper corner matches the 0, 0. So if I click on the center of the block, notice that you will see the handles on the outside. I'm just going to move that, and I can move that a couple of, a little bit so that my corners are matching up and that looks pretty good. Now notice that the block is slightly too small. So if I go to the lower right corner, and you can see that my arrows now, I have sort of a double arrow there, I'm going to click on that with my mouse and just drag that down so that um, my um, corner matches with the 8-8 eight, eight marking on my rulers. And so that looks pretty good. So now I can go to the Easy Draw tab. And what I have to do is figure out the divisions of the block. And the easiest way I have found to do that is to try to count going across. Um, you can see that there's a lot of squares there which seem to match the equal divisions. So we have one, two, three. Notice we've got a flying goose unit that's twice as big. So we'll say uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like the divisions would be eight by eight. Now the way I can test that is, is I can change my graph paper cells to eight by eight and I'm going to turn the graph paper on and you can see all the horizontal and vertical lines are basically matching up with my graph paper. Now I'm going to want to change the snaps to be the same so I'm going to change that to 8 by 8 and then I'm going to make sure that my snapping options are turned on and it says snap to grid points on the work table. And that will really um, snap anything to these snap points that I've entered before. I do not want any of the other snapping options turned on. I am going to turn the graph paper cells off so I can see the lines that I've drawn. And I'm going to pick up the line tool and I'm going to draw the lines to match the lines on my tracing image. And once I've got all my horizontal and vertical lines, I'm going to go ahead and draw the diagonals. Now there's no right or wrong order for doing any of this. Um, and really all I'm doing is tracing the image that I've, um, that I've brought in here.
if your image is too light, you can darken it. Um, I usually like it fairly light just so I can see the lines that, um, that I've drawn. So I think that looks pretty good, so I will go ahead and go to the Color tab. Now, I'm on the Color tab, and I have really the standard palette out there, which has some blues. Uh, not sure that I really like the whites, so I'm going to bring some more whites in. And to do that, I'm going to go to the Libraries, and I'm going to go to the Fabric Library. Now, one of the easiest ways when you know a color um, from the color, color wheel, you can find matching fabric. So I'm going to do a search down below, and I'm going to do it by color. And in the drop-down box in the lower left corner, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to scroll over to the white. And I am going to um, check both EQ7, Dear Jane, and Custom Libraries to find any white fabrics that are out there. And so I'll do a search now. And it says there are 48 items, which is a good number of selections. Now, I can see that some of these have a little bit too much color in them for me. So I'm just going to pick the ones I like. And each one that I find, I'm just going to go ahead and add it to the sketchbook. And I can just scroll over. And I'm really trying to do... Um, the very white ones. I may pick some of these ones with some blue in it also just to have um, a little bit of variation in what I'm what I'm doing here because um, I don't want my snowflake to be so boring that I can't tell the difference between the pieces. And I think that looks good so I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now, um, when I'm in um, my sketchbook to do my painting and I scroll to the uh, right, I can see all of these new fabrics that are out there. So I'm going to uh, select one of them that I can use uh, for my white. And um, I'm I'm going to actually go and do, I think, my blue first because the whites are a little hard to see. So um, I'm going to go ahead and select one of those blues. Oh, and I missed a piece there. So I'm going to go back to Easy Draw and I'm going to add that. Sometimes I just don't notice my problems until I'm back in color. Now notice that it will um, make some adjustments um, to the color. Basically, I can just um, overlay that so I can um, recolor based on that, based or just fill in this, fill in all the spaces. And I'm going to use a lighter blue for a second background. And I'm going to use these really light ones for the um, sort of the lines or the cross going through um, my snowflake. Now, I know that I haven't filled in those last triangles. If I go to the most recently used fabrics, I can actually see the ones I've used. I can refine my white one there and fill that in. And now I can add to sketchbook and I've completed my, my block. 
Thanks so much for watching. For additional videos and tutorials, please check out my website at www.onpointquilter.com and stay tuned for next week's videos which will complete the Snowflake Table Runner.